Hey guys, it's Rob Beardsley with Lone Star Capital, and today I wanted to dive into the underwriting model and show you the updates that we've made to incorporate the change from LIBOR to SOFR. So let's dive into the model, and you can see here, ignore the numbers, they don't matter. I just threw some numbers together so that the spreadsheet would make somewhat sense. But the important part here is the financing that we're talking about and specifically SOFR based loans, which are becoming more and more common as the transition from LIBOR to SOFR occurs. Now, for those who are not familiar, LIBOR is the London Interbank Offering Rate, which has historically been the premier or foremost short term interest rate benchmark that trillions of financial instruments have been and are currently tied to. However, there has been a change that is occurring and, and that is supposed to phase out LIBOR and implement SOFR, which I believe stands for short-term overnight financing rate or something like that. Definitely not as catchy as LIBOR in my opinion, but SOFR is what we have moving forward. And already you're seeing Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae lead the charge as far as transitioning away from LIBOR and implementing SOFR-based floating rate loans. Now, for those who stick to fixed rate debt, this doesn't really affect you much at all since fixed rate loans are based on the typically the 10 year US Treasury yield. But for floating rate borrowers, and that's commonly for bridge loans and then for floating rate permanent loans, which are popular with Freddie Mac specifically, they are now going to be moving forward with SOFR. Bridge lenders today are still a little behind and they're still basing their loans off of LIBOR. Like I said, the agencies are leading the charge on this, so they're already making loans based on SOFR. Now, what does that mean for your loan? Really not much. SOFR and LIBOR are really meant to reflect short-term borrowing rates between lenders, between banks, and it's the index rate on your floating rate loan. So if you are a, sh a short-term or a floating rate borrower, you would have your interest rate be comprised of two components, the index rate and the spread. So the index rate would now be SOFR, and today SOFR is really right around zero. So let's just say 0.01% or one basis point. And then the spread is the profit that the lender is making, the credit risk that they're taking by making the loan. And so let's say today the spread is 270 or 2.7%. So your index rate plus your spread gets you to an all-in rate of 2.71%. And of course, since it's a floating rate loan, it's variable and changes every single month. So as the index rate changes month over month, then your all-in rate changes. The spread, however, never changes. So with that being said, let's look at the changes that we've actually made to the model itself. So as you can see here, no more is it LIBOR plus, but now it's SOFR plus. And so, you know, for a fixed rate loan, we've got just simply the all in interest rate that you can input or for a floating rate loan, here we have SOFR plus, and then this would now be the spread rather than the all in rate. Everything else is the same. And we'll go to the pro forma tab to see really this in action. So what we have in row 36 is our SOFR forward curve. So we download a forward curve, which is a 10 year projection of where the market thinks SOFR is going to be for the next 10 years every single month. And then we input that into the model. And actually what I'll do is a lot of people ask me, oh, can you send me an unprotected version or the spreadsheet's locked? I can't use it. The spreadsheet is perfectly good to go, leaving everything locked. You never really need to unlock it as all the inputs on the inputs tab that are meant to be manipulated are already unlocked, even though there's a lock symbol there. However, on the pro forma tab, if you do want to break it out into monthly, you do have to press unprotect sheet and then press this two over here. And then this opens up the pro forma tab on a monthly basis. So I'm showing you the monthly here to show you that we've got SOFR projections for every single month here. And then we have the average for SOFR on an annual basis. So if I roll up the pro forma on an annual basis again, you can see this is the average for the first 12 months, year two, year three, year four. So again, these are the market projections where SOFR is headed. And this lets us more accurately underwrite our floating rate loans. You see, we prefer floating rate debt over fixed rate debt. That's a topic for another video. But having this SOFR forward curve lets us more accurately project our all-in borrowing costs on a floating rate basis month over month. And so you can see, let's look at our debt service, right? Debt service goes up slightly from year one to year two, and then it goes up a bunch in year three because interest only goes away. So now 
$144,000 of our loan payment is principal repayment and the rest is of course interest. And so you can see the interest continues to increase as the SOFR forward curve increases. And so this lets us more accurately factor in our potential borrowing costs. Now, of course, we don't know, and this is no guarantee of where SOFR is headed, but this gives us a good forward projection. And of course, we, as required by the lender, buy an interest rate cap, which hedges our all in or ceiling risk as far as how high the rate can go. For example, if we buy, let's say, a 2% strike interest rate cap, that means you know, potentially here the market's forecasting that SOFR goes above 2% in year seven, well, we would actually be protected for any overage over 2% because we bought a 2% SOFR strike or, or interest rate cap at a 2% strike. That's really it. That's how the model incorporates underwriting floating rate debt on a month over month basis. And of course, the forward curve changes as market dynamics change and market participants change their assumptions going forward. And so it's important for us to update the SOFR curve as needed when we're you know, underwriting new deals and as the market changes. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you don't have your hands on the model yet, I encourage you to go download it for free on our website at lscre.com. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.